Trains Part 3. Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is part 3 on lecture on trains. Here's the first problem. Problem 1. A train covers a distance of 12 kilometers in 10 minutes. If it takes 6 seconds to pass a telegraph post, then the length of the train is... Alright, now for the first problem, they said that a train travels 12 kilometers in 10 minutes and it takes 6 seconds to pass a post. So what is the length of the train? Now, essentially, we have got the time and this is, we have to find out what is D, right? And they've given us some information. Now, we know that if you want to find D, you will put D is equal to ST. We have got T, but we don't have S. S, you will need to find out from this information. So this is like a mini distance problem in a complete distance problem. So now you've got your distance, you've got time. So with these two things, you can find S, right? Because S is equal to D over T. Now, distance is 12 kilometers, T is minutes, but we know meters and seconds. So let's convert this. So 12 kilometers will be 12 into 1000 because one kilometer is 10, 1000 meters divided by time. 10 minutes is 10 into 60 seconds, right? So if you simplify this, 1010, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, 120, so 2, so this is 20 meters per second. Now this is the speed that you've got. Now you have time, you have speed, this is in seconds, this is in meters per second, and you need to find the distance. So again, apply distance formula, D is equal to ST. Now the speed is 20, mil 20 meters per second into time is six seconds. So 120 meters. So the length of the train is 120 meters. Let's go into problem number two. Problem two, the length of the bridge, which a train 130 meters long and traveling at 45 kilometers per hour can cross in 30 seconds is? All right, now for the second sum, they've said that the train goes through a bridge, all right? and it covers it in 30 seconds and the speed of the train is 45 kilometers per hour. The length of the train is 130 meters. So essentially what they're asking you is to find length of the bridge. Now, the shortcut way to solve it directly is you've got S and T. So you will find out D. D is equal to S into T. Once you get D, you know that the distance that the train has to cover, the, the bottom edge of the train is length of the train plus length of the bridge. Then take LR on this side because you know LR. So LB is equal to D minus LR. This is how we find your answer. All right. Now let's solve it. So we have got length of the train is 130, speed is 45 kilometers per hour, and the time is 30 seconds. So now let's convert this 45 into 5 by 18 because we want it in meters per second. So 9 twos are 18, 9 fives are 45. So this is 25 by 2 meters per second. So D is equal to S into T, right? So speed is 25 by 2, and time is 30 seconds. So two ones are, two fifteens are, 25 into 15 is 375. So 375 meters is D, correct? Now we know that D, that is 375 meters, is actually length of the train plus length of the bridge. So now we know LR and we know D, we don't know LB. So length of the bridge will be D minus LR. So D is 375 meters minus LR is 130 meters. So it will be 245 meters. So length of the bridge is 245 meters. Easy, right? Let's go on to problem number three. Problem three. A goods train runs at the speed of 72 kilometers per hour and crosses a 250 meters long platform in 26 seconds. What is the length of the goods train? All right, now for the third problem, they've said that the speed of the train is 72 kilometers per hour and it crosses a platform of 250 meters in 26 seconds. Now find the length of the train. All right. Now what they've said is they've given you time, right? They said that the platform length is 250. So this will be your LP, right? Or LB, whatever it is. Um, you, you have to find LR, right? And they've given you the speed, that is S. Now, first what you do is you convert the speed. Now it's in kilometers per hour. So again, 72 into five by 18 meters per second, right? So nine twos are, nine eights are, two ones are, two fours are. So it becomes 20 meters per second, right? So now you have S. So S is found. Now time is also proper. So now you need to find the distance. So D is equal to S into T, right? Your D is LP plus LR is equal to speed is 20 and time is 26 seconds, right? Okay. Now, 
LP is 250 meters. That they've given you. LR you don't know. So keep it like this. 20 into 26 is 520. So 520 meters, right? Now LR is equal to 520. Take 250 on that side. So minus 250. So it's equal to 270 meters. Hence the length of the train is 270 meters. Alright, so this was part 3 on lecture on trains, where we saw 3 different problems. Now, in part 4, I'll solve many more tougher problems. If you found this video helpful, do like it, subscribe to my channel and share it among your friends. Cheers! Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get notification of any videos that I release. I make new videos every Thursday. Until then, spread the knowledge.